Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Nick Money and welcome to Your Monday Care, a video series in which for a couple of minutes today I take a minute for Monday and I focus it on something else. I've decided that one episode a month is going to be dedicated to facts about a country, so if you like this episode, let me know which country I should do next month. Today I'm going to share with you guys 10 facts about Romania, and if you ever wonder what Romania means, it comes from the Latin word Romanus, which means citizen of the Roman Empire. A little side note about me, I was actually born in Romania, in Topica Hargita, which is about 20 minutes away from the natural mineral water town of Borsec, and it's also about 45 minutes away from Miercuriaciuc, Beraciuc, Anca Una, Shimaduc. Ah, the memories. But let's get started with the 10 facts about Romania, and as always, let me know which one you found most interesting. The Romanian language is 1700 years old. Most people believe that Romanian language is similar to those spoken in Russia and the Slavic countries, but in reality, Romanian is a Romance language closely related to Italian, French, Spanish, and Portuguese. The father of all vampires, Count Dracula, was inspired by the pitiless Romanian general Vlad Tepes, also known as Vlad the Imperial because one of his favorite ways of punishing people was by impaling them. Cool side note, Dracula's castle, aka Brand Castle, was actually about two hours away from my house. The Romanian Palace of Parliament, Casa Poporului in Bucharest, is the second largest building in the world. Next only to the Pentagon in the United States, it has 12 floors and it's one of the most expensive buildings to have been built. Romania gave birth to some extraordinary scientists and engineers, most of whom have actually changed the world. Some of these include Nicolae Constantin Paulescu, discoverer of insulin, Eugen Pavel, inventor of hyper CD ROM, Petrake Poenaru, inventor of the fountain pen, Anastasi Dragomir, inventor of parachuted chair, an early version of today's ejection seat, Trajan Vuja was a Romanian inventor and aviation pioneer who designed, built, and tested a tractor configuration monoplane. He said his first airborne travel was 11 meters. While we're talking about about airplanes, Henry Kwanda was a Romanian inventor, a pioneer in aerodynamics, and the builder of the world's first jet plane. Nadia Comaneci was a Romanian gymnast competing in the Olympic Games, and she was the first ever to receive a perfect 10 as her score. In 1889, the Romanian city of Timisoara became the first city in Europe to have electric street lighting. One of my favorite American miniseries, Hatfields and McCoys, starring Kevin Costner and Bill Paxton was filmed in Romania. Also, the movie Cold Mountain was also filmed in Romania. The statue of Dacian King Decebal, carved in the rocky bank of the Danube River, is the tallest rock sculpture in Europe, 135 feet tall. Romania is known for having one of the largest gypsy population in Europe. Romania also has the largest population of brown bears in Europe. Even though I give you guys more than 10 facts, the last one that I'm going to share with you guys is Voronets Monastery, which is dubbed the Romanian counterpart of the Sistine Chapel. A super cool fact about it is that it features a shade of blue that got its own name as the Voronets Blue. For the longest time ever, they were not able to replicate its shade and vibrance, and some say that even today, they are not able to perfectly replicate it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me know which of this new knowledge you guys found interesting and what country I should do next month, and if you guys would like to leave a like and a comment it really helps out the video helps out the channel helps out my self-esteem and if you guys could share this with anybody i would really appreciate it because i'm trying to get some new audience up in here so you know thank you if you're gonna do that even if you're not gonna do that i hope you guys have enjoyed this video there are a couple of more that you can check out to make your monday better and i hope to see you guys next time i'm looking forward to see your comments the apache revolver was a breast knuckle knife and gun combined but due to the lack of it not having a barrel and a small caliber the apache revolver was not a very effective firearm apache revolver enthusiasts claimed that it was deadly at extremely close range but then again